Hello. Um, today uh, we are going to do those four uh, diagrams. Um, so the way you want to proceed is like you know, it's just simply duplicating those figures that are given. Um, so sometimes, like you know, people, different people can can solve the problem differently, or you know, different architects or engineers can draw the same thing with different. Um, systems and techniques um, but always like you know uh, think about like you know in terms of using a certain set of commands so for instance for number one uh, we can use line circle and trim commands and then you know we can we can do the work pretty much um, you know easily okay so the, without further ado uh, let's let's go ahead and then like let me show you like how you can draw uh, the first one you know, very quickly okay so the way i would like to proceed is like um like this so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a line um, that is probably four units in the vertical okay so since there is no any specific dimension that you are you're asked to do today uh, i encourage you just simply to keep the units as as inches okay um so here what you see me doing is like just a rectangle which is seven by four and then i'm going to go ahead and then draw a circle um like using the center of this side of the uh, this side of the, the the rectangle and then the radius is equivalent to two and then if you look at the, uh, the drawing here there is there is something that is like a distance from here um from here the whole way here is seven so what i'm going to do is i'm going to <clears throat> there i mean that line is it's already offset but there is a five distance that you see here okay so for that five distance we need to uh, do some kind of let's say you know offset by five um, this side okay to, to over here and and then the next step what you can do is then there is here a distance so for instance if you see the distance from from this horizontal line to this horizontal line would be you know from here to here which is four and this is two then it's the distance from here to here is 1.5 right so i'm going to offset um offset by 1.5 going to offset the lower line and this line okay and, and then i'm going to draw a line that runs from this corner uh, to here okay i'm going to do the same thing line and i'm going to draw it from here to here okay the rest is pretty much it's the job of like you know, trimming okay uh, so i don't know just go ahead and then pretty much select everything and then try to um, erase part of uh, part of the drawing that I do really don't need. Uh, this is not part of the process. We don't need it. it has to be shred. Has to be cleared. Uh, it has to be cleared. Has to be cleared. Has to be cleared. I think. And this guy is not there. This guy is not there. Um, I think this guy is not there either. Okay, uh, something that whatever is left, you know, you can delete and you can delete them like this. Okay, you see, that's that's how you can achieve the first one. Um, then if you look at number two, um, there are like there is a rectangle seven by five, and then there are circles everywhere. If you move to this side, which is by one, and you know um, from this side to this side same thing one and then you can find the center so the first thing that you will want to go ahead and then do is draw the rectangle which is seven by five but i use the line command so that i can clear up things okay so in this direction seven in this direction vertically five and then this direction again seven and then i'm going to use c to close it 
Once I do that, I'm going to offset the sides, the whole, the, the whole side by a distance of one. Okay, so that those will be the location for my, for my circles, right? Uh, okay. Then at those locations, I have, I have four circles with a diameter of one. See, this is phi is a diameter. Okay, so diameter means radius 0.5 so I'll use the circle command and I will do here with 0.5 I can do the same thing over here with 0.5 radius and then here um, with 0.5 radius um, and then again I'll have the other circle with 0.5 radius. I have all the four radiuses and what's left is the big circle with a diameter of 4.5. Okay, so what you can do is how do I how do I find the center of that line? If you offset um, by 3.5 this side, right? It's gonna look at the same the, the mid the mid the mid line. Then I can use the center of this line as my circle and the diameter. So instead of like trying to divide four by four point five by two, I can still put in the diameter as is if I type D. Now see AutoCAD is switching to D format instead of radius, so four point five. There I have and that's it. So um of course the location this drawing has to be moved to a place where you have a coordinate uh, to two point two comma two. if you see the the corner this corner of the drawing is at two comma two this is how I do it look I'll draw a line that starts at two comma two okay and then I'll move it around okay it's fine I know that like the beginning of this line is at two comma two. So therefore, what I can do is like I'm going to select this object, and then I'll use the move command by holding this corner as my base point, and then of course it's move, and then I'll bring it and then snap it here. That's it. Then you can select this line and then delete it. That's how you do it. Pretty much straightforward. Uh, so number three um, maybe also like it looks like a little difficult but at the same time it's not really that difficult if you strictly follow uh, the given distances and everything so you can see here the distance from here to here is um, seven okay and then this, the distance between here and here is three so therefore the best thing just to proceed with this thing is like just draw a line at this length of seven so you use the line command and draw that distance which is seven okay and then you know, draw the circles like the two big circles here with the radiators with diameter 2.25 and diameter 3 so circle um, my center is here then I'm going to put in radius the first one is three and then I'm going to use the circle command again center same thing uh, I'm going to use diameter then the diameter of that circle is 2.25 right so let me zoom in a little bit more so that you can see and then I have a circle here where the radius of one and a circle of radius a half here okay so I'm going to draw that circle as well so circle my center is here radius one and then circle same center radius 0.5 okay then I'm going to delete this line because I don't need it then now I'm going to go ahead and then draw a line that starts from here to a distance of three to draw the other two circles with the same radius as those two 
So circle, center, diameter one, radius one, sorry, circle again, here, 0.5. Okay. Once you do that, what you can do is you can draw a line that runs from the quadrant of this circle to the quadrant of that circle. You repeat that, draw a line that runs from this quadrant to that quadrant. And then again, draw a line that runs from here to here. And then line again that runs from this quadrant to that quadrant. And then I'm going to draw a line that runs from this quadrant and tangent to this guy. Okay. So what if the tangent icon is not on? So what you can do is um, here on the object snap, right? Uh, so what you can do is check if tangent is on. So if tangent is by clicking like the little square next to it, or if you are working on a Mac computer, double click on that item, then you can turn on the tangent item, okay? So tangent, my tangent is on, then I will know when I say tangent, okay? So I'm going to start a line from here, which is tangent to this guy, see? That diamond shape is quadrant, whereas, see, that is the symbol of tangent. See that green thing? That shows you like a little tiny circle and it tells you like that's tangent. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Line starts from here, but tangent to that side. Then now it's a matter of trimming out things, okay? So trim. Since you have a little bit of experience, I usually select the whole thing to trim, okay? Then this side has to go, this side has to go, this side has to go, this side has to go. Okay, this is not part of human drawing. Right, that's, that's pretty much, that's it. Okay, so this is how you do your third drawing. Uh, the fourth and last drawing, as you can see it here. Well, uh, you know, you can approach it differently, you know, the way you want, but pretty much this is a repetition of like, uh, what is, what is in number two? This is a hinge drawing with the dimension of rectangular, rectangular dimension of uh, six, um, then six by 6.75, and then you can offset the side, this side by 1.5, this side by, um, side by um, by one and decide by two then you will be fine with the rest okay once you find the location of the centers then you can do it okay so 6.75 by 6 so use the line command draw um, 6.5 in this direction and then 6 in this direction um, 6.5 in this direction and then of course close it once you have that what was I saying was like you can offset objects by one and this side has to be moved this direction by one um, and then again offset but this time by 1.5 okay this guy comes to this side by 1.5 comes to this side by 1.5 again offset but this time it's by 2 this line okay so pretty much those are the, uh, the locations of the circles so what are the dimensions of the circles with six of them with a diameter of 1 and a diameter of 0.5 okay so circle um, diameter of one. Uh, so circle. I need to select my center. Uh, then diameter of one. Circle. Um, 
Okay, so it's the same thing, 0.5 circle. They center 0.5 circle. They center 0.5 circle. They center 0.5. You repeat that. And then there are others as well that you need to put them here, here, and here. Okay. Uh, so, you know, then you can also use the copy paste function if you want to circle. Um, then center here, radius is 0.25. Then let's try the copy paste function. So you can use Control C, okay, and then press Enter. Mm, okay, I mean you can use probably the copy paste function if it works. Um, but otherwise, you can just simply um, go with the circle command. Here's here's a copy function. Select objects, select, and then confirm. Specify the base point. We want to use the center. Then, 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 then. That's it. You can do that. Um, then what's left is the middle part of this guy. You can see this this distance is from here to here at three. So therefore, you can move um, line. And, sorry, offset by three. Which guy? This guy by three, and then of course this guy by three. Um, what's left? Then you can offset this line by two and by two to find those locations, right? So offset by two of this line comes here by two, this line comes here by two. And pretty much there are lines that you don't need to have them here. Right, so those, those are not part of it, you can delete them. The rest is like, you know, it's just a matter of, um, much matter of trimming. <coughs> and then, um, trim. I told you, like, I like to select most, pretty much most of the uh, objects. And, and then, has to go by. Right, this is not there, this is not there, this is, that one we can, we can also delete it, it's, it's not a problem. All right, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it so for today. You know, you can move uh, those drawings to, to a better location. Um, to a better location, okay. Um, so I can move this. Better location means like you know your professors can find them uh, pretty much close to each other instead of like one is there, one is here, kind of stuff, okay. So and then and then move it. All right, okay, so I will use the zoom extend function. Press Z, press E, there I am. Okay, thank you very much, uh, until next time.